There is no sign at all that this trouble will be over soon. In fact, there's a lot of concern that it's already in the process of becoming a regional conflict. Joining us now from the State House, Dr. Hushang Amir Ahmadi, professor of the Rutgers Center for Middle Eastern Studies. We welcome you back to the program, sir. Is this, is this already a regional conflict, part thereof, do you think? It is not as yet. It could become as, as, uh, as yet it's really an, a non-state actor versus two states. One is in Syria and other in Iraq. And obviously both of these states have other oppositions, uh, non-state oppositions again, uh, inside their country. And there is a civil war going on in both places. But again, uh, because the, uh, the guys who took over uh, Mosul and other places in Iraq are sort of being indirectly supported by some of the states in the region, including Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, and perhaps Turkey, uh, and also on the other side against the uh, ISIS is uh, the Iran. Uh, so you could think of like a, uh, 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 you know, implications for the interstate uh, conflict, but uh, at the moment, I don't think that there is. Well, the president is, is talked about sending in up to 300 uh, special forces, uh, Green Berets, essentially, to act as instructors, perhaps, for the Iraqi army. We also hear about the United States and Iran uh, perhaps cooperating on trying to bring some degree of uh, stability to the country. The Iranians certainly have backed uh, President uh, the, uh, al-Maliki for, for his position. The, at this point, though, do you see, because you are a, an Iranian yourself, native Iranian, in fact, you tried to run yes. for president of Iran as well. We'll talk more about that at a future date. But, but do you see the U.S. and Iran drawing closer as a result of this? Uh, it is possible, except that I don't believe there would be military cooperation. I think the one place that they could cooperate, and I think should cooperate, is to get rid of al-Malaki. I think uh, this man, the, I, I mean the Prime Minister of mm -hmm. Iraq, I mean, he has mismanaged uh, the uh, post-U.S. Uh, withdrawal from Iraq, and he has, you know, followed the sectarian uh, politics there, isolating, alienating the, the Sunni uh, people there. Uh, mm -hmm. The Sunnis are 35 percent of the population. Yeah, he's there certainly with the, with the, uh, if not the approval of the United States, ultimately the acquiescence. Uh, does the United States bear some blame for, for helping to, I guess, put a man into power who has, by all accounts, failed? Well, I don't know if it's blame or not, but one thing I know that I think it was a mistake for President Obama to withdraw all U.S. forces and not maintain anything out there and just assume that al-Maliki will do uh, the work that we had envisioned to be done. Yeah, of course, Obviously, the administration says, that, doctor, mistake. the administration says they did that because the uh, Iraqis would not give the immunity authorization that U.S. forces typically need when they uh, stay in a country, a sovereign state that, that has approved their presence there. Uh, if, uh, take me a week down the road. Do you think this time next week the situation will have gotten better or worse, sir? will be worst. There is no question about it. I think uh, the, this forces, I think the Iraqi situation is going to be more complicated. It's really is ending into a civil war. It is not going to be just SII, ISIS versus the central government. It will be a lot of other groups, like a lot of the remnants of Saddam forces have joined ISIS in this fight, and other Sunni uh, forces are also joining. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, and, and Kurds also have taken uh, Kirkuk and other oil fields. And that's another issue because they, I think, very soon are going to declare themselves independent, not just autonomous, but independent. And so it's very complicated. And I don't believe that 300 uh, American forces there are going to be sufficient. I think the U.S. is going to end up really sending increasingly more, more, and more. And uh, I, I suppose if the U.S. is really looking into cleaning up that mess, it really has to do like a shock therapy. Go big uh, there, clean up quickly, and return home. Otherwise, I'm afraid that we will increasingly, gradually, however, uh, deepening into that place and getting into a mess with the civil war in Iraq. Professor, we have to leave it there. Thank you for coming back on the program, sir. Uh, my, my pleasure, Mike.